So today, I have a dream. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests and fellow peace prominent. Today, I, Nilo for AUB, come before you, filled with hope and a fervent vision for a harmonious world. My story exemplifies the unparalleled power of peace, resilience, and the uncompromising conviction that harmonious resolutions are both attainable and vital. Drawing from the depth of emotion encapsulated by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and his legendary I Have a Dream speech, I echo the same sentiments to you. As I unfold my narrative, I aim to eliminate the fact that peace isn't a mere aspiration. It is a tangible construct we can collaboratively achieve through the tales of individuals, much like myself, who stared down adversity only to raise as peacekeepers. I hope to inspire and underline the poetical role of each of us hold in fostering peace. The dream of peace. My dream is of a world where every nook and cranny basks in tranquil embrace of peace, where the cacophony of conflict is silenced by the symphony of dialogue and mutual understanding. However, dream requires momentum to become reality. My journey from Kunduz to Kabul was in a conflict-ridden lands of Kunduz, Afghanistan. My story commenced posing as a bachapush, a girl clocked as a boy. To gain education, I intimately grappled with societal gender dynamics. Every day was a theatrical performance for a mere survival and access to rights that many take for granted. I invite you to imagine with me, imagine me holding my mother's trembling hand, going to the market, me dressed as a boy while I am four years old, and my mother cowered from head to toe. And I am there as her chaperone, but I am respected more because I dressed as a boy than the mother who gave birth to me. Through this ordeal, education emerged as my beacon. Education wasn't merely a tool, it became my ally, instilling within me a strength, resilience. Recognizing its power, I was driven to empower women, challenge societal norms, and pave the way for the dreamers like myself. I personally went through this famous saying that educate a man, you educate an individual, and educate a woman, you have educated an entire community. In an educated, in a group of educated community, of course, will end up in an educated nation. My path meandered to Poland after August 15, representing more than just a change in location. It marked a transition of hopelessness into aspiration. In this newfound land, I unraveled my purpose leveraging entrepreneurship to not only uplift myself, but other women as well. But life seldom treads in straight paths. The Taliban resurgence was a painful reminder of our unfinished mission for peace in my country. Now, as I stand before you, I am a testament of the transformative potential of education and preservance. My tale mirrors the spirit of countless resilient women in Afghanistan and globally. This isn't just a recounting of my past. It's an impassioned plea for action. Peace isn't reserved for world leaders. It begins with each one of us in our homes, communities, and innermost thoughts. 
to encapsulate my journey symbolizes our united dreams for peaceful existence. Dreams demand action. Action necessitates that we raise the occasion. Let us craft a world where resounding melody is one of the harmony and unity. Echoing Dr. King's iconic word, I envision a day when freedom resounds globally, from Afghanistan's rugged Hindu Kush mountains to Ukraine's Donbas, from Afghanistan's Kandahar province to African metropolitans from Afghanistan's every corner to the every corner of the world. Let's march towards glorious day, where irrespective of faith, we jointly proclaim, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Thank you and peace.